Hello all, welcome to session four of csharp.net. In this session, I'm going to explain about different .NET platforms. Let's get started. Till now, we are in an assumption that there's only one .NET developer platform for developing the applications, but that is not true. We have multiple .NET platforms. What are they? One is .NET Core, which is one of the .NET platforms we have. Submarine, which is also known as Mono, is another .NET platform. Then we have .NET Framework, which is also another .NET platform. These are the three .NET platforms we have, .NET Core, Submarine, and .NET Framework. So what is the difference between these platforms? Let me explain one by one. Coming to the first platform, okay? First .NET platform, that is .NET Core. So this particular .NET Core runs anywhere. It's a cross-platform one. That means .NET Core runs on Windows operating system. .NET Core also runs on Mac operating system. That means we can develop the applications on Windows using .NET Core, .NET platform, right? On Mac, the Mac operating system also, we can build the applications, develop the applications with the help of .NET Core and Linux operating system also, we can use .NET Core for developing the applications, okay? For building the applications on Linux also, it's possible with the help of this .NET Core. These three operating systems are supported. That's why it's said cross-platform, .NET platform. Now coming to the second one, that is Xamarin, which is also known as Mono, is another .NET platform we have, which supports mobile, okay? This runs on mobile, guys. Okay, we can build applications on mobile with the help of this Xamarin or Mono. Coming to the last one, last .NET platform, .NET Framework, okay? This only runs on Windows, okay? If you want to build applications only on Windows, you don't want to go for Mac Linux, then .NET Framework is enough, okay? So nowadays, a lot of people are using .NET Core, guys, okay? Because of its uh, more advantages over the other things, the platform advantages, people are moving to, migrating to .NET Core from .NET Framework, okay? Earlier, .NET Framework was kind of famous. Now, people are slowly migrating to .NET Core. So hope, guys, uh, you understood the different .NET platforms we have. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'll explain more about .NET. So that's all, guys. Thank you. Bye.